In honor of the GPT store launching, in today's video, I'll be doing a review of the best GPTs for SEO and bloggers. So we'll be starting off with my own GPT, which is the blog post content humanizer. So this allows you to transform your content that you've written using AI into more of a humanized style, which will allow you to bypass AI detectors. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is head over to your blog or whatever um, place you've created content. You want to copy over the content that you've written using AI. So let's go ahead and just copy over this first paragraph here. And then we're going to pop it into the GPD. And then we're going to pop it into the GPD. And we're going to ask it to rewrite this content. So once the content has been rewritten, you can go ahead and test the content. So let's go ahead and copy this over. We're going to start a new scan on originality.ai. And we can see here that the content is 100% original. So it was previously 100% AI because I used AI to write the content. But as you can see, by using the content humanizer, you're able to rewrite content so you can bypass AI detectors. You can plug in a whole blog post here and it will be able to rewrite that content or you can do paragraphs, whatever you like. And it actually works really, really well. So if you want to use a blog post content humanizer that I created, I'll leave a link for this GPT in the description below. The second SEO GPT that I want you guys to take a look at is called the Quality Raiders SEO Guide. So essentially, you can paste in your URL and this will give you um, quality rater guidelines so it will tell you does your page pass the quality rater guide test and how can it be improved so essentially it will give you ideas on how you can improve your pages on your website for example i can copy over my website's page i can paste it in and as you can see it will be able to do some research um, for what it found so it will find the main offering the key features and it should give me um, some improvements that I can make on that page. So now once it's done a analysis, I can tell it to give me recommendations to improve the overall page quality of this article. So as you can see, it's searching the knowledge that it has to be able to give us ideas on how we can improve this page quality. So we can see that this is good because it's not just taking information from ChatGPT. It's actually taking information that's been trained on or that's been uploaded onto this specific GPT. So that's why GPTs are good because you can get more information information, more up to date, in depth information, especially when you're doing research or you're trying to get recommendations on things such as SEO, because SEO is always changing. So the information that ChatGPT may have may be outdated. So that's why GPTs can be a really, really great help. So we get some ideas here on things in which we can do to improve the overall um, quality of this article. And these are actually really, really good recommendations. So if you wanted to do a analysis of your web pages, you can use this um, GPT to do so. And again, I'll leave a link for all of these GPTs in the description below. The next SEO GPT that I want you guys to take a look at is called SEO Search Query Analyzer. So all we have to do is enter the search query that we would like to rank for. For example, I can enter the keyword. This keyword is how to make money online as a broke teenager. And we can see here that the SEO Search Query Analyzer is going to search up that keyword and give us recommendations that we can follow to rank for that specific keyword. Okay, so based on the analysis of the top Google search results for this keyword, here is a comprehensive analysis, nature of ranking URLs. So it tells you what type of URLs are ranking. So articles are ranking, so you need to create an article. Recency of ranking pages, the articles are mostly recent with updates in 2023. So we need to make an updated article if you would like to rank for this keyword. Likely searchers, so the target audience for this keyword seems to be teenagers who are looking for ways to make money online. This includes beginners in the job market and those who may not have much experience or investment search intent page content requirements so it will give you requirements that you need to include within your page and depth of content so as you can see you get a lot of information here if you scroll down we also get a table analysis so we get likely personas for this search query what does a page need to look like to satisfy these personas how to make this page more helpful for each of these personas and we get a conclusion here so this is actually a really really good analysis that you can use to kind of configure your writing to steer your writing in the right direction if you would like to rank for the, this specific keyword or any keyword that you have in mind so that is the seo search query analyzer another really good seo gpt is called the topical authority for seo gpt generator this is by income stream surfer he is a really popular and really really good youtuber so i highly recommend that you check out his content but essentially all you have to do is enter your niche and you'll be able to get a topical authority map for that specific niche so for example, let's say my niche is AI tools and softwares. I would enter that niche 
And as you can see here, it will create a topical authority map for a website that is all about AI tools and softwares. So if you're now starting to create a website or if you're in that initial planning phase, you can use a GPT like this to help you figure out how you're going to set up your website. What is your pillar content going to look like? What are your categories going to look like? And it will give you some keyword ideas in which you can um, use to do research and start writing content on. So we see here that we get some pillar page sub niches. So AI development platforms, machine learning libraries, AI in cloud computing, natural language processing tools, AI in data analysis, AI for cybersecurity, and so on. So as you can see, this GPT will be very useful if you're now starting your website, but it could also be very useful if you have an, um, a, an experienced website, which you would like to add new pillar content on. You can get ideas using this GPT. So well done to Income Stream Surface for creating this. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for it in the description below today's video. Another pretty cool SEO GPT is called the Revenue Driven SEO Keyword Research and Analysis. This allows you to create a revenue driven content calendar of topics based on the purchase conversion rates of past data provided by various websites. So let's say, for example, we wanted to know how lucrative a keyword is. This would be the GPT for us. So I've entered the keyword best running shoes for men. And as you can see here, it's giving me a variety of different keywords that's related to this specific keyword. So it really didn't give me um, any um, revenue specific data as yet. But as you can see, we are getting some variations of this keyword that we can use, which can be very helpful. And it's also telling us the intent. If it's a commercial, if it's an informal, I'm sorry, informational keyword, we're getting that information on the right hand side here. So this is pretty good data as well. We can use this to either um, use these keywords within this article or get ideas for various keywords in which we can create to create topical authority around this specific keyword. So those are some of the GPTs in which I came across. But if you'd like to find GPTs for yourself, just head over to the Explore GPTs tab on ChatGPT. And we can search up a GPT based on the keyword. So for example, if we're looking for SEO uh, GPTs, we can search it up and we can see here that there's some really popular GPTs. So Rank Math also has their SEO optimized content writer, which allows you to generate a 100% math SEO optimized article. So essentially, your content will be SEO optimized if you use this specific GPT. So all you have to do is enter the title in which you would like to write about. So for example, we want to write an article on how to become a better um, CEO. And as you can see here, Rank Math uh, GPT will take care of the heavy lifting for you and create that full article very, very easily. We could also search a blogging and we can find specific GPTs in which we can use. So if you are stuck and you want to find a GPT for your specific use case, just search up the public GPT section under ChatGPT. And this is the article that we get back from the Rank Math SEO GPT. Here we get an outline and then we get the full article. So as you can see here, you can use GPTs to do some of the heavy lifting for you when it comes to keyword research, content analysis, competitor analysis, and even writing your own content. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.